forests cover almost 30% of our planet. A complex ecosystem, a crucial link that holds all life on Earth together. Driven by the sun's energy, an acre of forest absorbs almost six tons of carbon dioxide and gives off almost four tons of oxygen every day. A dynamic cycle that has sustained life on our planet for millions of years. On the western coast of India, lie some of the oldest rainforests in the world. The Western Ghats. Covering an enormous area of over 160,000 square kilometers and stretching for over 1,600 kilometers from the southern tip of India to Gujarat in the north. The Western Ghats support some of the most unique ecosystems found nowhere else in the world. Home to nearly 325 globally threatened species, the Western Ghats is considered one of the hot spots for biodiversity. With more than 5,000 plant species and more than 500 bird species, it is also the last abode for many indigenous communities. Some with a legacy of over 5,000 years. Hundreds of rivers and streams originate from the Western Ghats, a crucial source of fresh water. Unfortunately, like many places in the world, this unique biodiversity hotspot is under pressure. Rising temperatures and erratic climate patterns are threatening these forests, disrupting the lives and livelihoods of millions of people. Forests are absolutely crucial to the battle against climate change. If we fail on the battle against climate change, the uh, hostile climate and the increasing difficulties it will bring with floods, uh, droughts, storms, sea level rise, we're going to see conflict on a major scale because there'll be so many people moving as a result of climate change. Over 700 million people living in rural India depend on climate sensitive sectors like agriculture and forestry for their survival. Forests are important uh, in the context of climate change. According to IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, nearly 20% of the global CO2 emissions can be sourced to forest sector through deforestation, land conversion, forest degradation, Forest sector provide a large mitigation opportunity to reduce CO2 emissions as well as to sequester carbon. Increasing population and the need for more land for agriculture and habitation has put the Western Ghats under threat. With few options available, local communities harvest firewood for their basic needs. Thousands of tons of wood are being extracted from these forests. In many areas, loss of prime forest cover has resulted in the drying up of many streams and water bodies. 
lack of water, habitat loss and soil erosion has severely affected the flora and fauna. Scientists are concerned. Many species of rare plants and animals are endangered every year. If this continues, it could seriously fracture and damage the dynamic cycle of life here. Changing climate and the rise in temperature has already started affecting the local farmers. इधर का खास ये जो वाइट इलाची है उसका पैदावार पहले हम लोग इसका हजार टन तक ये इधर का मार्केट से खरीद के बेचते थे अभी उसका पैदावार बहुत कम हो रहा है क्योंकि वो टेम्परेचर बढ़ते जा रहे हैं गर्मी का मौसम में Early flowering of many trees and crops has been witnessed. The increase in temperature has also led to a proliferation of new varieties of fungi and insects that are affecting trees and plants. Disrupting crop production cycles and forest produce. The Sirsi region in Karnataka, the site of a field project. Here, the Indian Institute of Science, along with Earthwatch Institute, are working together on a scientific research program supported by the HSBC Climate Partnership Program to examine the long-term impact of climate change on forest ecosystems. Citizen Science, a unique model created by Earthwatch, involves ordinary people in hands-on scientific research. A collective effort alone can bring about a change. Earthwatch is a global organisation that undertakes scientific research on environmental issues that face our future. The basis of how we operate is to make sure we're doing critical scientific research and involved in that are individuals who come along to help those scientists undertake that fieldwork. So they come away from that, from Earthwatch projects and hopefully have a life-changing experience which they take back into the home, into the workplace, into government and contribute to, if you like, change to create a sustainable planet. Okay, so this the HSBC Climate Partnership is a pioneering example of how business can help address the urgent need to act on climate change. In the Western Ghats, HSBC is working along with scientists at the Earthwatch Regional Climate Center. This is the largest known employee engagement program on climate change. As you know, this is a 12-day training program, one which I hope will not only help you understand, but bring in skill sets which you, with your knowledge of business and now with a growing knowledge of climate change and issues to do with forests, can actually bring the two together, fuse this knowledge and bring it back to the communities in which we serve. Convergence is key. This partnership is a unique model in India, where science, communities and businesses have all come together to find sustainable solutions to the most urgent environmental issues that confront us today. Engaging the public in scientific field research builds knowledge, creates environmental leaders and leaves a positive legacy for the future. Citizen science model provides huge opportunities for the conservation work. Encouraged by the success, Earthwatch is setting up local volunteering programs at Mumbai, Pune, Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Delhi. Our corporate sustainability is based on two pillars. The first is education and the second is the environment. At HSBC, we want to integrate 
information, knowledge and understanding of climate change and the impact that it's having on the environment. Uh, what we would like to do with our initiatives is to take knowledge, information and understanding about issues that surround climate change into the communities in which we operate and also help build understanding amongst our staff. Working closely with the scientists from the Indian Institute of Science and the members of Earthwatch, over 300 employees of HSBC will make a massive contribution to this global research program over the next four years. They will acquire new skills, be informed and inspired to take action at home and in their places of work. What they have learnt and acquired will be reflected by the choices and decisions they take within their business and as individual citizens and communities. When I came to this program, I was overwhelmed with the ideas all the people had and how we could interact with each other. We have a lot of activities going on in terms of projects, like we have the rainwater harvesting project, we have a biogas plant which runs all our kitchens and you know we are LPG free. And we have a group of people called the energy marshals who are saving a lot of electricity by encouraging people to shut down the systems, make minimal use of electricity. Protection of forests is the prime concern. The project in the Western Ghats is part of a global program. Well, the HSBC Climate Partnership, um, of which Earthwatch is a part, is enabling us to set up five new field centres around the world in the UK, USA, Brazil, India and China. Well, in all the regions uh, in which we're working, the forests are very highly impacted by human activities. The presence of the scientists and Earthwatch volunteers has already started generating interest among the local communities. Information for adaptation must be local and it can be done only through these kinds of collaborations. And it's uh, excellent you've got one of the leading universities of the world, um, the IISC, You've got one of the leading NGOs in the world, the Earthwatch Institute, and one of the leading banks in the world, HSBC, all getting together to provide what is vitally needed for the future of people in uh, Karnataka, and of course, with more examples like this, India more generally. Scientists are working with local communities to help them manage forests and to provide long-term benefits to the people, the wildlife and the environment. The local communities have pioneered the use of environment-friendly technologies like solar energy, green pesticides and beekeeping to help take the pressure off the forests. Community initiatives in the Western Ghats include introduction of biogas as an alternative fuel to forest timber, a community initiative that is proving successful and is beginning to make a difference. The results are visible. हम रूरल इंडिया में जो फॉरेस्ट होते हैं, वहाँ से हम लकड़ी लाके, लकड़ी जलाके एक बार करते थे कुकिंग वगैरह। ये जो गोबर गैस आया है अब, हमें बहुत इजी लगता है। 80 परसेंट लोग तो अब यही यूज़ करते हैं। Forests are a crucial link in the interdependent cycle of life. Forests produce almost 40% of the oxygen that we need for survival. Millions of people across the earth depend on forests for their livelihoods. There's an urgent need to manage our natural resources. Rampant development and uncontrolled use of our natural resources, followed by global warming, has tipped the balance, jeopardizing all life on Earth. Scientific intervention and a collaborative effort at all levels alone can help restore the balance of these fractured ecosystems and ensure a secure future for us and for the coming generations.